All right, we're back out in the shop looking at the Sabretooth 2x60 controller hooked up to our uh, RC boat car boat controller. And uh, hey, yeah, there you go. Okay, so I was messing around with it. I have it on the trigger right now. I mean, we're flashed to move it to the trigger. Um, and one thing I noticed is uh, I'll read the comment was that boy, it's, it's really uh, touchy. And I noticed that I don't think my suit too touchy. And then I realized that I'm on the the uh, as it says here on the here, I'm the exponential setting, uh, which is actually switch five. Uh, and if I look at that, yes, I have that on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to. And here again, what I don't know is do I need to power off to move the dip switch setting? I'm going to do that. I think maybe on power up it it does. That's when it reads the switches. So I'm going to just uh, disconnect power. I'm going to switch it. So right now, I don't know if we can see this, but maybe we can go by sound and how far the trigger moves. But uh, if I I get some movement and it's moving slow, and then watch how it... I think we talked about this before on the other controller. But it is kind of soft around the middle. I think that's pretty good. That's what I think we wanted to see. Let's get... Let's, Use that now and compare that to uh, the disconnect power. Flip number five. There's five. I, did a, I should just put a switch in line with this, but boy, it does uh, spark on the battery too when it fires up. <clears throat> okay, so here we are back at it. And let's see, we got five, we're switched to uh, linear mode. Now let's see if that uh, if we notice anything different there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's not near as yeah. Oh, not as near as forgiving in the middle. Something else too. I I noticed this controller has it. I, I saw this. Must be standard with these things, but they call it the. I think it's the seventy thirty split. And I think I can see it here. I, I think that's what I'm looking at. Watch how far the trigger moves in reverse. That much. And watch how much it moves in, in forward speed. Is it just, yeah. So they're, I think what they're saying is you get 70% of the throw is in forward. I think that's for a little bit more finesse of the speed. So that's the 70 and there's 30. 70, 30. Now, the, my high dollar controller, um, yeah, right, doesn't have that as a setting change. But I think the higher dollar controllers, you can switch this to like a, to, now steering, of course, as you remember, steering was equal because here that would make sense. You're right, you're left. Um, but yeah, I think that that's definitely a setting to make on a, on a, you know, a controller that costs more than like 10 bucks. Um, but that's definitely something. Okay, so I don't know if that answers the comment. Let's switch back to, now that we're seeing how much that moves and how fast it is, you know, let's see if we see a difference. We're gonna switch back from ex exponential back to, or no, from linear. This is linear mode, because it's, it's quick. Let's go back to exponential. That's dip switch five switch off for we're switching off uh or down depending on anyone look at the controller okay back there we go power back up and let's see how that is um, yeah yeah there's definitely a difference there but look at that like i can really Now, on reverse, you don't notice it. And I think because if you, th if, if the way I look at this is you have 70% of the throw, so you have a lot more this way. I mean, you, so you have a wider range. So exponentially, it would start out and there would be a, the curve, the speed curve would, would, you know, it goes up like that, right? I, I know I'm not making a good impression on video. 
but it starts and it comes up. Linear is a straight line. So this makes sense within 70% of the sleeve, you have more, you have a little bit more, uh, I don't know what that would be called. I don't know. Here again, it allows you a little bit more finesse of the speed. You can move. Whereas in reverse, you only have a small throw. It's 30% you know, of the throw, but they have to get that entire speed curve in there. So that's definitely a thing. I, I'm thinking that, here again, that's going to be another video coming up. I'm, I'm waiting for some other controllers to come in. But I'm thinking if you're going to stick with the... Uh, if you're gonna stick with the uh, trigger, and you're not gonna need this, you're not gonna need the steering wheel, and you're gonna just try to clean this thing up or even go to a different box, which is what I wanna do. I'm gonna put this on a, you know, on the on the lever, as I talked about, like I have on my other controller, my, my home built. And I'm gonna switch the potentiometer. I'm gonna switch the setup that's for here. That's what's gonna, well, I'm not gonna switch it, but that's what's gonna be on the lever, so it's equal. That's what I'm thinking about there. Because, I mean, if you're locomotive, you run it both directions equally, I'd, I'd want to be able to have the equal control in both ways. Now, here's another thing I just, you know, we're talking. Let's say you had a stop on that, and you always want to have this as your, you know, let's just call this straight up throttle, right? You could switch, you could use this switch here as your reverser, because what this does is reverse the signal. So watch it. So there's, I consider that forward. The top of the, you know, the truck shooting is going that way right now because you can see the wheel. If I, I flip it, there you go. Okay. Yeah, I'm just by flipping that switch. So here again, if I wanted to put that on that box as a switch, a directional switch, and only use it, it, you know the within the uh, the circuit only use basically the half half of the circuit for just use that for the throttle. Boom. Mechanically, I guess you could put a stop in there so you just can't go that way. You know, but yeah, there you there you go. Forward, reverse. You're just switching the signal. That's it. Steering had the same thing too. Steering correction if you want to make the, you know, right, left, and left, right. So, okay, I hope that answers the question. That's that's the exponential versus linear. Uh, hands down, exponentials, I think, the way to go. And, uh, oh, someone else mentioned on another video something about, or one of their comments was about uh, you're moving around the yard uh, and you don't, you want to make it so you can't accidentally, you know, goose it for full speed. Um, I think that's kind of neat, almost like a, a, a electrical, uh, you know, governor or something, or limiter. I guess limiter is a better word. Limit the top speed. So you have like yard speed, road speed. I think that's kind of neat. I'm going to look into that. That's going to probably be more to do with the circuitry uh, to, you know, throw in a, uh, a, you know, some, you know, switch in or out, some limiting uh resistance on the potentiometer that's you know part of the speed control so I might look at that here coming up i don't know how how much deeper i'm going to get waiting for some other controllers to come in and hopefully we'll see that on the next video thanks for watching